Hey guys, we're going to look at a job this morning at, a, it's a house that has two systems. I just replaced one of the systems. It's fine. And she has a Goodman system on the other side of the house. And she sent me pictures yesterday. The fan blade fell into pieces. It's Saturday morning, uh, May 27th. She sent it late, late yesterday evening. Uh... I deal with John Stone for Goodman. They're not open on Saturdays right now anyway, so they're only doing call outs. So we are going to go see, we're gonna go get a model and serial number. And uh, another thing I wanna make sure is that it didn't bust the coil and leak out all the refrigerant. So it's a 410A system and it's only a little ton and a half. The other system was a three. And that's the one I changed out. If it leaked out all the Freon, then it's it's not worth uh, it's not worth fixing. We'll just swap out the condensing unit and leave the air handler. But again, uh, let's go see what we got, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we're on site. There's my ream that I just put in running good. Okay. Yeah, you can see the fan. Look at the fan blade. It looks like it just nicked the coils. I don't think it lost its Freon. Let's open it up. Let me pull this disconnect. top off of it Look at that. Those wires are so tight down there. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. She broke. Okay, but I still think it has Freon in it. I don't suspect that it busted anything. Well, that's a good sign. Ooh, the shredder core is leaking. Well, at least we know we got Freon in it. But I'm gonna have to fix that. I've never put gauges on this unit or anything. Okay, there's an O-ring in there, so, but at least we know we got Freon and it didn't bust anything. Get this model and serial number. Oh, I don't have my phones. Let me go get my phone and we'll get the model and serial number. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this blade off. Tape measure here. About to this side, right at six inches. I think I got a piece of sandpaper in here. Yeah. Portable 
back from Kandy. I texted a picture of the Mullen show number to my guy from Johnstone. He's going to see if they've got one in stock. Oh, yeah, it should come off pretty easy. Yeah. Here she goes. There it is. There's the old broken blade. Make sure the motor's okay. Motor seems to be okay. I don't have any slack in the bearings at all. Okay. Well, it might take him a little bit to see if he's got that. So I'm gonna flip it back over and just put it back on. Now that we know we still have Freon and nothing's damaged, we can get away with just the blade change out. The fun of putting a Goodman back together. You put one side in and the other side pops out. But you know what? We're going to leave the screws out of it. Put the disconnect in upside down. And wait for his phone call. All right, guys. So chances are we won't get our hands on that blade until Tuesday uh, after Memorial Day because... Uh, all the supply houses are closed. The supply houses have not opened up on Saturdays yet around here. I think maybe one or two of them have. I think the York stores open on Saturdays till noon, but that doesn't help me. But Johnstone has not opened up on Saturdays. My Ream store has not opened up on Saturdays. None of them have yet. So, and you know, their call out fees are getting higher and higher. Now, me being a pro partner, if this was a ream system or an ICP system, I wouldn't get charged a call-out fee because I'm a pro partner. But that doesn't help me with Goodman. I'd have to go to Johnstone or the Goodman store, which I don't go to the Goodman store unless I absolutely have to. Because my boy, my buddy that works at the, that used to work at the Goodman store now works at Johnstone because the damn Goodman store is a joke. So, anyway... It's probably going to be Tuesday, but again, she's got that other system that I just put in, so she'll be okay. That's actually enough air to cool the whole house. I don't know why they put... She added on an addition, and I don't know why they put a ton, a ton and a half system. It's too big. All that really needed to be done is, is bump up the, the ream system that I put into a three and a half and tie the ductwork into it, and it would cool the whole house. I offered her that option when I changed out the ream to bump it up to a three and a half, and eliminate the ton and a half Goodman and just tie the duct work in to the new ream system and let it cool the whole house and she declined she wanted to keep both units which is that's fine with me so anyway when we get the blade we'll uh 
we'll revisit this. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.